What's going on guys? All right, today I'm going to show you how to make a thumbnail. Now this isn't an advanced tutorial. This is just a basic one. So if you have any questions, requests or anything, just comment below and I will get back to you and make another tutorial on how to help you guys better. So let's get right into it. Okay, the first thing you want to do is download paint.net. It'll be below in the description for you guys. And you're going to want to open it. Go up to the top change your image to 1280 by 720 okay so this is a youtube standard image quality for thumbnails i'm not sure what their max is but i know it's pretty close to around there so next you're going to want to look for a thumbnail background so right now we're going to get all of our pieces together so go to google type in thumbnail backgrounds and they'll give you a whole selection of a bunch to choose from nice and easy one so just pick one choose one we're gonna use this one so then you're just going to right click Choose it, save it, minimize, go back to paint.net. Then you're going to open it up, find the file location of it, drag and drop it or open it. Doesn't matter. Just click open. Don't add layer. Just open. Okay. So now you can see it's a really enlarged image. So we need to go back to our image thing, resize it, make sure it's 1280 by 720. And you'll see now it's shrunken down to that. All right, next we're gonna add ourself to the thumbnail. Now, not everyone wants to do this, it's up to you. You can just use regular images from, from Google or whatever, but so if you wanna add yourself, just open up uh, camera software. So just go to your start menu, type in camera. It'll give you this option to take pictures of yourself. Click on that, take a picture of yourself, and then you're gonna wanna go back to your paint.net, click file, new, doesn't matter about the size, and then it's gonna open up a whole nother tab, almost like you're starting fresh again. And then you're going to want to go find that picture, drag and drop, like always, just hit open, guys. And then you're going to want to crop it to a smaller area so we can clean up the background a lot easier without having to worry about all the other stuff around me. So then you're going to use your rectangle tool and then go to image, crop to selection, and you're going to start using a magic wand tool to work around it. Okay, so then if you click on the outside, you can see there's a magic wand there. And then if you go to tolerance, you can see it's fluctuating, right? How much it's actually taking away. So this is the tricky part. You're just going to want to sit there, click around your image. You might have to adjust your tolerance to make sure that it actually gets rid of everything. See how it's taking apart my face right there. So we don't want that. We want to lower the tolerance so it doesn't take away part of the image that we actually want to keep. So that's going to be the trickiest part when you are making this a PNG file. So that's basically what we're doing here, guys. You're turning anything you want into a PNG. So you can see there's a lot of stuff around. It's all kind of jaggedy. There's a green outline. So we're going to clean that up. So we're going to clean it up with the erase tool. I like to set it to erase mode, put it on 10, and you're going to want to zoom in as far as you can. Not as far as you can, but enough so you can actually see. And we're going to literally outline, guys, by left-clicking and just cleaning up the entire edge. So now we're zoomed in a lot. So it's not much that you're going to be able to see once you zoom out. So you don't have to go too, too crazy with it. Again, the guys, this is a fast tutorial, basic tutorial. We're not getting too fancy with it. We're just getting right to the right into it. So you guys can actually use your imagination and make it a lot cleaner and more detailed to what your liking is. So you're just going to outline guys, clean up the edges, make sure it's all squared away right there. I'm just going to speed it up real quick a little bit for you guys here because you guys already have an idea of what I'm doing here. It's nice and quick. Go around again. You could be particular with it or you don't have to kind of just racing stuff along the way again. Nice and easy. Circle around the outside. Don't worry about anything on the outside yet. We'll figure it. We'll get all that stuff uh, on the outside there afterwards. So just go down. You get all the green. The green is what's going to show the most. So then you're going to want to back out. You're going to want to change your tool size, your eraser size, a lot bigger, 50, 70, whatever. And you're just going to erase and get rid of all this outside area, all the pointless stuff, the stuff we don't want. So we can make this a true PNG file, guys. Make sure you get all of it. And now we're going to do another trick here that's going to make sure we get everything. So basically, basically what I like to do is make a new layer and you're going to go to your fill paint tool and you're just going to click on the background. Okay. So what this is going to do is going to create a black canvas and then you're going to drag your original layer on top so you can see all the little imperfections that you're missing. Go back to your eraser tool, erase all those little things. Again, 
This will make sure that you make search a true PNG. So when you drag and drop, it's not all distorted and it actually looks perfect. All right, now we're gonna add another piece to our thumbnail, guys. So file, new, okay. You're gonna go find the other image that you wanna add to your thumbnail. And in this, in this case, I'm using my logo. Then you're gonna wanna do the same thing, guys. Rinse and repeat, magic wand tool. Change your tolerance to what you need to. Make sure you don't cut off your image that you want. Hit delete, making it a PNG, guys. That's all we're doing here. Try to get big chunks out of the way you can. Go to eraser tool, change the eraser tool size. Erase around the edges, guys. It's a rinse and repeat process, pretty much, to make the thumbnail. Boom, we did it. All right, so now we're going to add a title, okay? So you can go to Google, type in, I'm just going to use Fortnite here, fortnite.png or Fortnite PNG, and it'll actually come up PNG files. So instead of creating our own, it'll already be made, guys. So I'm going to use this one, for instance. Right click, save as, it's a PNG file. Minimize, rinse and repeat, guys. File, new open you're just going to find your file again the image file and then you're just going to find it and you're going to drag it you're going to drop it you're going to hit open boom this one's already a png you guys we don't have to do any work here okay so next we want to get our frame our next piece of the puzzle so you just go to google type in frame png or just type in frame and you can make a png guys again we've already done that in the previous steps so you guys should know now how to make a png this one's already a png so right click save as png minimize Again, read some repeat guys, file, new, open, drag and drop your frame into your layer. All right, there we go. All right, so now we're gonna put it all together, guys. We're gonna put our pieces together, the puzzle, all the PNGs you've been creating. So obviously our background thumbnail here is gonna be our main template, right? So we're gonna wanna go to each individual thing that we just made as PNGs and get them over to our thumbnail thing. So if you go over to, let's say for instance, my camera one first, make sure you click this selection tool right here. This is the entire move selection. And then you're just gonna wanna hit Control C to copy, go back to your original thumbnail image, and hit control V. This is gonna give you the option to expand canvas or leave it. So this is what you don't wanna do. You're gonna hit expand canvas and you'll see that it has a PNG background. You don't want that. You always wanna create a new layer, guys, every time you do this. So click create new layer, do control V again, keep canvas size. Okay, so then you're gonna click that and then now you can see we have no background image. So now we can actually move this around. See how it's distorting when I click the top left arrow to distort it and move it? You wanna hold shift and see how it's locked now, my aspect ratio? That's what you wanna do. So don't just try to transform it without holding shift. You wanna hold shift and move it and diagonal to change the size of it, okay? So then you wanna go back to our second image. Same thing, guys. Make sure your move selection tool is highlighted. Click on the image, control C, Go back to your original thumbnail, make a new layer. Every time, guys, make a new layer. Control V, keep canvas size, boom. There it is again, guys, same thing. Top left corner, drag it, hold shift to keep the aspect ratio, guys. If you don't hold shift, it's gonna stretch it. It's not gonna be the original image size. Boom, so now, again, we're just getting everything into the original, original image right now, okay? So same thing, let's go to Fortnite, our title. Control C, make sure it's selected, make a new layer. Control V, boom, now that's in there. There we go, guys, nice and easy, nice and quick. Same thing, rinse and repeat on all these guys. A lot of rinse and repeating here. Same thing for our border. We're gonna make sure it's highlighted. Control C, go back to our original thumbnail. Make sure it's a new layer. Control V, boom. This one, you don't wanna hold shift because it is a different aspect ratio. So you are gonna have to stretch it to fit. So this is a perfect example right there of when you should and should not hold shift, okay? If it's the exact image size, you would you would have no problem, okay? So all I'm doing is kind of, again, I'm just kind of throwing this thumbnail together real quick here just to give you guys an idea. This is a quick, quick, quick tutorial. You guys need to be the have the imagination and create your own thing with your own logos and do your own thing. So we have a title. I have my logo. We made a PNG of my body. We made a frame. Boom, guys. Simple as that, okay? So you can just click on the layer you want. You can also stretch it, make it bigger, do anything you want, guys. You can move them around, customize it the way you want, guys. Nice and easy, nice and simple. Again, this isn't an advanced tutorial. This is just a basic one, just to give you guys an idea and understanding. And if you guys do have questions, comments, anything, you guys know I'm always here to help out. I made this tutorial because you guys are requesting it. 
This is not an advanced tutorial, guys. This is just nice and simple and right to the point. Again, guys, if you found this helpful at all, comment below. If you have any questions, I will be sure to help out. Make sure you like and sub to the channel, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.